Ladies and gents, boys and girls, Douglas and Diggettes, welcome back Monster Hunters and Monster Hunties, can't forget everyone here now, but we are playing more Monster Hunter Double Cross and we are going to be fighting the Congala today. Now this guy, oh boy, let me tell you something, um, he's not a very important monster to fight. Uh, usually he's just a stepping stone monster, he's almost always been a stepping stone monster, even in his inception, don't get me to lie here guys, but I want to say it was Dose, Monster Hunter 2. He debuted. I'm probably gonna get this wrong. Someone's gonna correct me. By all means, feel free to do so. Regardless, though, um, he brings with him only one real interesting mechanic. That is the stench mechanic. The ability to no longer heal yourself once you're actually afflicted with this. You can cleanse yourself of this by using deodorant, with that, which is which rather I highly recommend you bringing when you come to fight this guy whether you're new to fighting him or not I mean he gets really annoying I was only able to really do it because I mean this is still a G rank hunt but um, you know me I'm very reckless when it comes to hunting so I just didn't really care about my health at all uh, regardless uh, we get ahead of ourselves let's talk about what this guy uh, has we already know what he does um, he, he flops around and he he farts this is the thing he farts intentionally he farts forcibly uh, he burps. He does a lot of gross things. That's that's his uh, that's his his makeup. He also eats mushrooms that give him different properties. Uh, red mushrooms make him f uh, spew rather fire breath. Uh, purple with poison. Um, I think there's another one, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Regardless, just watch out for what he eats. Try to make him not eat, and to to make him not eat at all, break the mushroom when it's clenched in his tail. Um, geez, we're still getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, so, so let's back it up. Let's first speak on his strengths and his weaknesses and things like that. So since I jumped the gun, we already talked about his, uh, his his abilities. So let's talk about his weaknesses and whatnot. Now he is very susceptible to that of fire followed by ice. And he's very neutral to pretty much everything else. So don't really uh, bother with anything else. Just, just bring fire. He's an early on monster. I assume that uh, by the time you actually fight him, which is in high rank, you already have at least one fire weapon or so. So she, you'd be in very good hands when fighting him. Again, he's not a very important monster. A lot of people just give him a skip. Honestly, like they fight him the one time and that's the last they ever really deal with him. But if you're one of the people who just like to fight the guy, you just you want to be the monkey king. Or I myself am feeling that I need to do the full complete video breakdown. Like I'm supposed to with every single monster. I'm going to give you more than just the weaknesses to get him through. I'm going to tell you the gear that he provides if you choose to use it. It's actually, honestly, I'm not. I'm not even going to really, really, really lie here. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, I was shocked. I was like, "Wow, uh, it's, it's, it's not amazing." Okay, it's not amazing. By no means is it amazing, but um, I mean, if you get it, you're not like you're not you're not at a deficit, so to speak. Anyway, so high rank, you're given 11 points to attack, a negative. Well, like a uh, double hunger, excuse me. That's the negative skill. You get 11 points of attack, double hunger, but you also have gluttony. So, break it down for you. Now, with double hunger, um, it makes it to where your stamina depletes, I believe, twice as fast. But with gluttony, it recovers your stamina twice as fast. So, it's like. Yes, no, maybe, kinda? I don't know. Anyway, you have four slots. You can easily gem out that negative skill and you can be okay. Or if you're really about their life, you can actually jam in attack medium because you do get attack small, and you, like I say, you have 11 points to attack with four slots. You can actually jump jam in uh, medium, hopefully. Uh, but that's the high rank. Now the G rank isn't really all that bad. I mean, it's it's kind of reminiscent to him, but um, it's not bad. I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really do. It gives you attack up medium, biology, and gluttony. Biology makes it to where you're unaffected by things like stench and blast. And I think there's something else. Increase your dunk bomb efficiency. There we go. Okay. Um, so stench no longer affects you. So him farting will no longer affect you. Uh, if you're fighting Brachydos, the, the blasting, the slime, whatever you want to call it, will no longer affect you. And if you are a person who likes to throw dung bombs at intruding monsters like this Raytheon did in this video here, uh, then it will be a lot more effective. The monster will probably leave immediately. I've never used the skill personally myself, so I couldn't necessarily tell you. On top of that, you also, I think I said gluttony, right? Gluttony, biology, and attack up medium. Good stuff. You get seven slots as well. So, bro, you get, you can get attack large, attack large, biology, gluttony, and then throw in a random skill that you probably like. And you're not really messing with the bad set here. Okay, you can get like 
repeat offender on the set and it's not that bad you know what i mean it there are better sets but it's not that bad especially if you want to get attack up large early on in g rank bro it's not bad you know what i mean it's not bad i for one thought it'd be worse but it's like i said it's not that bad now what is kind of bad however is its weapons uh i had to look I legit had to look. I wasn't even sure this monster even had weapons, but apparently Kongla actually has weapons. He has uh yeah, dual blades, he has uh hunting horn. Switch X. Wow, I had to think. Holy oh let me let me get the chart. <laughs> I'm sorry, huge pause, but yes, uh switch axe and bow and bow gun as well. But um they're really not not all that good. His uh dual blades are uh, yeah, two slots, 330 on the attack, no element, negative 5 affinity, but plus 20 uh, defense. The sharpness isn't really even there. I mean, it's not. With sharpness plus 2, you get some blue, excuse me, some purple, but that's the only way you're really going to get any. Uh, standard, the white isn't even really even there either, so truth be told, you can probably give this up a miss. Unless you probably want to make a bludgeoner set, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, the switch has switch axe isn't too much better. I want to say his best weapon is probably his hunting horn because it has. I mean, sharpness with a hunting horn doesn't really, 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 really matter. But two slots, 340 attack is a pretty decent song. So that's his gear for the most part, and that's really pretty much all I can really say about the guy. I mean, he's not like that good of a monster. Like I said, uh, you can totally skip his gear if you like. He's just a he's just a monster that's just here for now to test you one way or another to get you more comfortable fighting. That's pretty much it. But um. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have for the video here, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It was um it was interesting. I had to solo this guy because he doesn't really have a lot of health, and I decided to actually like not eat for attack, just eat for just for health and stuff uh, to kind of pad the video out a little bit more. That way, I can talk to you about this now. If you came here wondering about Kongala and how he works, your video is done, bro. Okay, you, you, that that video is done. It was like six minutes ago that way okay now I want to talk to some because I didn't want to make two videos I really didn't want to make two videos I'm not like that big of a scumbag um, but I probably will make a, a video separate to really address to really hit home on some of the points that I'm probably gonna bring up here uh, and also because I want a lot I want a lot more people to actually uh, feel where I'm coming from however I did want to make uh, two videos out of this initially simply because I didn't want to like make a four minute conga love video because there, there's no reason to fight this guy for longer than like five minutes and then back door make another video so i want to at least touch on what i want to touch on now and then maybe later i'll make another video if people want me to elaborate on what i want to talk on so with all that madness out of the way let's talk about what i'm talking about okay this game the state of this game is horrendous for me um and it's very really not even that good uh wholeheartedly for everyone else now i will say this okay guys i I'm not going to say I admit it, but the closest thing I can probably get you guys to understand me to be is a hipster. I am a hipster, okay? Imagine that. Your boy Dak is a hipster. I don't like a lot of things, and I like even fewer. Now, in Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter is one of my favorite games. It really is. But as of late, the last three iterations of this game have been the exact same experience for me. The exact same experience. So, technically, I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to say right now, for the past three years, I've been playing the same exact Monster Hunter game. 4X, four, four Gen, and double X. It's all the same game. Now, I know you're going to gonna say, Dak, there's slight nuances, slight differences, whatever. I understand that, you know, the arts or whatever, but it's how, how, how different is it really? How different is this game from 4U really? And I'm, I'm, I just was never really a fan of 4U. So it really comes down to the point where I'm just not even feeling playing the game. Honestly, I'm, I'm really not. Like, if you guys want to like, yo, Deck, you make videos so far in between now. You don't make any videos at all or anything like that. It's because, guys, every day when I wake up in the morning, I say, what am I going to do today? I will look at my video game collection and I'll look at my Switch. I'll go to the eShop or whatever. I'll play my Xbox a little bit with a couple of friends, something like that. But when it comes down to it, when I look at this Monster Hunter game... I have no, like, there's nothing, there's, there's no feeling inside me that says, let's play Monster Hunter. I'm not enjoying myself anymore. I'm really not. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not enjoying myself in Monster Hunter, and as it stands right now, 
and that's what makes it makes it so hard for me to actually make uh, videos and play the game and do anything with it. I mean, I want a live stream. Live stream is so much fun. Apart from the fact that my my internet is terrible and it makes it really really hard to live stream, uh, that's beside the point. Cause I normally stream anyway. I just don't want to play the game. And I did say a long time ago that yo playing Monster Hunter on a console with a proper controller would be the best way to play it because it's more comfortable and everything. That still holds true for me. I'm still more comfortable playing it that way, but I still don't want to play. I just don't want to play the game. I don't. I'm I'm done with it. And I'm really, 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 really hoping that Worlds, whenever it comes out, rekindles my joy for playing this game. Because as it stands, as a veteran of this game for like nine years now. I don't I don't want to I, I don't want to play the game anymore I really I have no desire to play I still want to help people helping people is really what I'm all about and it's really all this channel is about is all, all I really do uh, even before Monster Hunter all I was doing was just helping people but I just I, I don't feel no there's no re I don't feel like playing the game anymore like getting on and fighting this guy was a chore it really was Saturday I'm, I'm talking from like life life standing right now Saturday I'm almost okay tomorrow Let's make a monster in the video. Let's fight Kong Law. Let's do it early So that way we knock it out and be done with it. I did not record this video until 3 p.m Was that what was I doing before then nothing absolutely nothing It took me like six hours to psych myself up to hunt this one monster to make this video for you guys That's just how I feel. I just have no drive to play or even look at the game Monster Hunter is killing me, or it's killed itself for me, if that makes any sense. Capcom has made the same game for three years straight, and I'm, and it was a game I didn't even like. So I'm really hoping that World brings it around for me, because as it stands, I'm not in the mood to make any more Monster Hunter videos. I mean, I'll make them, because I'm a man of, I'm a man of the people. It's just that I, I, don't, I won't enjoy doing it anymore. And people say you should totally and only do things you enjoy doing. But I still enjoy helping people. I just don't enjoy uh, the manner in which I have to do it, like playing this game, i.e., whatever. But um, pff, whatever, guys. That's just me ranting. I just needed to vent a little bit. You know, I really did. I it was just this built up in me. I just need to let it go. I'll probably expand upon it later in another video. Like I said, if you guys want to want me to elaborate, but if not, that's cool. Regardless, it's been your boy. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. I don't know who we have next to fight, but you'll see tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe. Peace.